Hey, Joseph, back with a look at the forecast and looking at those cameras behind you, it definitely looks hazy in a lot of parts in our area. It is. Yeah, you know, we have that combination of what is left of some morning fog and then, of course, that wildfire smoke that's been moving on through not only here close to Portland, but up in areas of southwest Washington, especially. You can see Ayla and A. Now we are clearing things out a little bit. You can see the sunshine starting to beam on beam on in. That's going to feel pretty good. Uh, but we're just going to see that air quality that is in the unhealthy level. So if you held off from maybe that morning walk because it was too smoky, even this afternoon, you'll probably be dealing with some issues out there. So you may want to refrain for today. Maybe do something indoors. Ayla and A there, there's the view. McMinnville, lovely blue sky. So the fog has moved out and it's not as smoky down to the south. And then Lincoln City, also just a really nice scene coming out of the Oregon coast. It's the lower 60s. We're kind of on our final little hurrah here of what is the last of what is the summer that has been tucked into fall, right? And so we are going to start seeing some cooler temperatures across the board, especially by the weekend. But right now, 58 degrees coming out of PDX today. Anticipated to see temperatures back into the 70s. Here's kind of the zone forecast. The coast, nice and sunny, beautiful blue sky. Temperatures in the upper 60s. Still going to call for maybe the lower to mid 70s today here in the valley. A bit of a hazy sky out there, of course. The gorge, the same. Upper 70s there for central and eastern Oregon. And just the common theme is going to be that wildfire smoke that's dispersed and kind of permeating across the state. High pressure shifted to the east of us, but it's in control. That's going to leave us nice and dry. We have this disturbance to the west, really deep uh, area of low pressure. And that's really not going to impact us directly. This one's going to stay to the north, but we do have more developing just to the west, and that will eventually bring in the rain in kind of buckets by the time we head into the weekend. So there you go. We're looking out to the northeast from the coin tower. It is definitely hazy, but as I mentioned, more sunshine kind of starting to peak on in from the south. So we do have some blue sky out there as well. But with the fall inversions, we just kind of trap everything close to the surface. So I think air quality is going to be a problem till Friday, and that's why we have the air quality alert until Friday as well. Uh, this uh, again is probably our potential last warm and dry stretch. So anything in the 70s, 80s, all the stuff that we've been bringing on in for the last couple of weeks, I think it's finally coming to an end as we welcome the rain in the clouds by the time we get into this weekend. So it's going to start you know, looking like this this afternoon and again for tomorrow. By the weekend, it looks like this. You can see all the raindrops coming on in. So that's kind of the story coming up. But great weather the next couple of days to be outdoors. If you could kind of handle some of the wildfire smoke or maybe you're down to the south and it's a little bit better. So out the door the next couple of days, still seeing some sunshine. It's going to be Friday when the rain arrives and then I keep showers in the forecast Friday, Saturday and Sunday. A little fall foliage update here. We are now to the moderate color right around areas of the Willamette Valley, a little bit more to the high color level there out towards the east. So if you're getting out for a fall hike, now's the time to do it. Just be ready for the rain this weekend. That's going to be moving on through. It's going to be our first soaking of the autumn month and season. We have Friday there. We're up to 100%, so it's going to get wet towards the end of the week. That's going to be definitely the wettest day coming up. We still have those two dry days, but Saturday and Sunday equally a little wet. Uh, you can see that we have this rope of moisture moving on in first on Thursday. That's going to be a pretty dry cold front, but then on Friday we really start to see that moisture arrive and that's what's going to boost our rain totals for the month, which we've only seen a trace so far, which is very hard to believe. All right, there's Wednesday. It's nice and dry. You can see Thursday. Here comes that weak front. It's mainly dry, maybe a couple spotty showers there. And then here comes Friday and then there you go. Voila, we see a lot of moisture moving on in on Friday. Here's 930. We keep the rain in the forecast through the weekend and it'll be more kind of scattered on Sunday. So Jenny plans for the weekend. If you're making plans now, the first part's definitely going to be wet Friday and Saturday. You have a better chance to kind of avoid the rain on Sunday. Definitely cooler. Okay, well, I have to sit out at a youth sports game Saturday, but you know what? After last weekend with the 90 degree weather, I was the like, hot bleachers. hot bleachers. I will take the rain. Green jacket. Yep. Be nice. Okay, we'll be right back with more news and a final check on that forecast.